How many of the plants and animals around you also call your home their home? And by that I mean, how many are native to your neck of the woods? Chances are, from intentional ornamental plants in front yards, to accidental crop pests, many plants and animals have been introduced, especially if you live in a big trade center or metropolitan area. In the San Francisco Bay Area, the Port of Oakland is bustling with large container ships and recreational vehicles are taken for a ride in the breezy air. Underneath the activity in the water, hidden from most are the invasive critters that I spent the majority of the summer writing about as an intern with the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center. Most invasive species don't pose a threat to where they're introduced, but the few that do can potentially mean a breakdown of a healthy ecosystem. Many whole fouling organisms, or organisms that attach themselves to hard, often man-made structures, indeed are non-natives in San Francisco. A study published by the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center Marine Invasions Lab found that during drought years in California, nearly three-fourths of the fouling coverage was dominated by one invasive species, a sessile fouling organism. In addition to taking up space and resources from native species, they are also a major frustration to to the shipping industry and recreational community alike. For big commercial ships, organisms attached to the bottom of them slow the trip down, wasting fuel. And for recreational boats, the fouling just doesn't look pretty. Boat owners will often hire divers to scrub the bottoms clean to keep their boats looking ship shape. And though recreational vessels don't travel far, just from the few docks I was able to visit this summer, one can imagine how all those boats can be harbors for critters looking for a place to land or lay eggs. I was able to talk to scientists from the Smithsonian West Coast and East Coast campuses management regulators, and even local members of the Berkeley Marina to report on research that affects stakeholders. Despite having lived near the Berkeley Marina for four years and seen many of these invaders up close, as I like to do, it wasn't until I interned as a science writer that I took a deep dive into how the animals might have gotten here and what management for them looks like. Though many of us aren't direct stakeholders when it comes to aquatic invasive species, our waterfront neighbors and the wildlife surrounding us are. So getting involved in citizen science or local conversations or whatever skills you can bring to the table will also bring general awareness to an important issue that will only get worse with our reliance on the shipping industry as a means of trade.